Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is I am the Pope in question. My name is May Lynn. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. It is episode four hundred and forty-four of this podcast, and uh. Very excited for this episode. We're going to be talking about uh, current events. We're going to be talking about uh, a a classic universal horror movie. I'm going to name drop Mexican Hayride again. Really? Which is, okay. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. I've got a mini shap hidden somewhere in this podcast, which I think you're going to like. And we're going to eventually get around to talking about a movie which is a piece of shit so excited to be doing this podcast uh it's an exciting time in the woodian calendar church edwood.org be sure to check it out uh the 10th is uh a holy day december 10th it's a uh, holiday called wood wayne Edward was born on October 10th, and that's a celebration of Edward's life. And then December 10th is Edward's death, and it's basically the same thing, but sad. And then the next day, which is today, the day that we are recording this, uh, December 11th. Uh, so yesterday was Wood Wayne, and today is, of course, a holiday worldwide. It's Perez Prado's birthday. Oh. He would have, if he was still alive, to, he would be, let me do the math. Old. Dead. Be old. Yeah. If he was alive, he would be dead. So uh, it's his birthday. I am, am legitimately, unironically, a pretty big fan of Prez Prado, the Latin king of Mambo. Uh, he released an album, one of his most famous albums. A great. Great album of Mambo music, but the best part is every song is named after a woman he did it with. Okay. And I and I absolutely just love that. Apparently, he didn't like naming his songs. My favorite song is Patricia. That's my favorite song. So then he followed that up with what many people consider to be his greatest Mambo album, but he never bothered to name the songs. So finally, they... They just went ahead with the album, and the first track was Mambo Number no. One, and the second track was called Mambo Number no. Two, and the third track was called Mambo Number no. Three, and the fourth song was called Mambo Number no. Four, and the fifth track became a worldwide sensation. That is a 100% true fact. It's Prez Prado's birthday. So listen to some mambo music. We were listening to it this morning. We were getting our mambo on here at home. So we're a big, big uh, mambo supporting family. Uh, Bunny. Yes. It is time once again for one of those different sort of monologues, a potpourri of a monologue. There's going to be a little bit of news. There's going to be a sprinkle of some bits, some little funny uh, uh, things, and some important topics for us to just ad lib and riff through. We do this to start the show every once in a while, but we've never named it. So our first topic of discussion during this bit is, what do we call this bit? It's uh, So we need to come up with a name. I've got six name ideas. Okay. This has already gone through some uh I'm kind of cool with potpourri right off the bat. Okay, well well uh he, here are the six that I came up with. A modicum monologue. I was kind of going for uh some some real uh important sounding words. I also have a uh, podcast scraps. Dabbing the world, the topic tingle. Now the last two, these ones are the money makers. But uh, I personally like the first one. I think you'll like the second one. But but he, here are the two 
really, I think these are the these are the two main names. Number one, the Betty White Memorial monologue segment brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Download today. Don't download it. And, and, or Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. I, Jeff has a nice ring. But I like the Betty White Memorial monologue segment brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends download today because, number one, uh, rest in peace, Betty White. And also, and I want to memorialize her the best way I can, which is to name a podcast segment after her. And then we've got a sponsor. Boom. Raid Shadow Legends download today. I think it's a pretty decent I name idea. But also, Jeff is a good one, too. If you can think of any, oh, Bunny. Well, I like, I like Jeff. Okay. So when I am, when I am naming this episode, upload, Steve's historic approximation from that perspective is actually yeah because it's historic approximation then whatever that episode is. yeah okay yeah that Betty White thing I'm just gonna have to give Hold it on. Can we do <laughs> a, a, a box thing Look yeah the we size can... of this box uh hold on hold on it's really good. At hey, I just gave them. I just gave them a full body shot of your sexy ass. I mean, are you? Oh, I didn't realize that the name was there. Here, let's turn it around. There. We could have just turned it around. Okay. Here, hold it, so I can do what? It Look how big this box is, y'all. Look at that shit. There is not. Look, it's not that big. It is not that big. Why? Wait, I don't so. know. Right. You are really just showing off the good today. I am. Today. Everybody, look at my roof. Fucking hell! I'm interrupting. What are you? I had doing. To... You have taken over, Jeff. <laughs> I do like that. I do like that. I tried it out just now, and I liked it. Jeff. Yeah. There you go. That's the official shirt. Yeah, of this is this. the shirt. Monologue segment. Oh, really? Uh, nice. Yeah, I just decided. And it's super soft, by the way. It is. It is super soft. Do you guys like my wife? Her, look at her sexy shit. Yes. I've, had I've lost 50 pounds. Sweet. I'm on, or, I'm on, or, I'm wait on, a second, though. Are, are you doing a podcast in your bra? It's, it's a, a bralette. It's a bralette. <laughs> oh, that it's was a nice. Yes. What's a bralette? Um, but look, isn't it? It's soft and it's Lacy it's a pretty. it's a bra, but it's also a top. If you're a dead musician named Selena, okay. So, so there you go. Okay, so Jeff is the new name of our. Um. Sorry, I didn't mean to take over. I had two and a half more. What if we changed it from Steve's historic approximations to? Historic approximations. H-A? Ha! Yeah, histor historic approximations. No, it would be hap. 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 What is crazy random hap? Hap. Okay. I think okay. I, mean, I actually think that's pretty good. We, we dropped the seed. When I saw Picture the Amazon. Yes, we're feet. still talking about the the unboxing. Yes. Well, no, well, no, I'm talking about the fucking size of this box that they just sent me. Yeah. My coffee pot. Yeah. Stop. Leave it there. Let's see. Yes. Hello. Go ahead. And take it. Um, I'm gonna just drink this right. Can you see that? There's yes. a whole cat. I can yeah. fit. I can fit like three cats in there. That is not that big. Okay. Sorry. I'm just really irritated. <laughs> I'm really irritated because I was like. That's I thought it was smaller than that. I saw the picture. It's a gigantic box. Yeah. And it's not a need for a gigantic box. No. Well, how many yeah. times do you have? Uh, well, yeah, that's okay. a good point. That is a good yeah, point. Yeah, no. Maybe they were thinking about that. Damn, bunny. You and your fucking logic. Yeah. 
All right. I'm done taking over. Okay. <laughs> so, Jeff, that's the new name of this uh, podcast bit. I'm glad that we nailed that down. Moving on. Bunny. Yes. Do you know how fucked up your belief system has to be where <laughs> Alex freaking Jones is uncomfortable with you? Yes. I mean, damn. That's I, a I, sign. I really appreciated the gimp mask. I thought yeah. the gimp mask yeah, that was made nice. it. That was nice. <laughs> Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. So, so, I mean, so, who, Alex... Who really cares that you're a Nazi if you're a gimp? Yeah. Sure, sure, I believe Hillary Clinton is a lizard person and Woody from Toy Story eats babies. And that they put chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. But what Kanye West is saying, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. That, that's how far Kanye West has gone to the right. That he, even Mr. Insanity is like, that's going too far. That's like akin to Jim Carrey saying, Hey, turn it down a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Why, why don't you turn? Why don't you turn it down a bit? You're at a nine. I need you at like a five. That's like that's like a Robin Williams saying, "Wow, now you have a lot of chest hair." <laughs> so, I think that what we're seeing is. Like another famous breakdown in real time. You know, like uh, Tiger Blood and Duh winning. That seems like a, like a lifetime ago. Yes, yes. I, and I, I am highly, highly. The best part is, is that Alex Jones keeps trying to give him outs, but he keeps going back in. Yeah. I, I, I understand. Kanye, I, I think what you're a actually trying to say is that you're a designer, and so you like the outfits that the Nazis wear because they were designed by Hugo Boss, and I know that you're a very famous designer, but that's it. You don't like the Nazis. You are actually wrong, Alex Jones. I love Nazis. <laughs> and he's like, damn it, take the hint. So this is what I'm thinking, because I, I was thinking about this. Um, you know, okay, so Magneto has his, uh, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Yes. I, 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 what I really liked about the, the first X-Men movie is that they just, Magneto just calls it the Brotherhood of Mutants. Good. You know what? Having evil in your group's title does sort of make you seem a bit evil. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... So Magneto has his Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Lex Luthor has the Legion of Doom. Meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom headquarters, who would be in the League of Horrible Celebrities? Of horrible Celebrities. Yes. I don't know enough about who Mr. Beast is to say anything about him. I don't know. Okay, here comes my 11-year-old to tell us all about YouTuber Mr. Beast. I, he should, he's a YouTuber that does these really weird challenges, and he's like, if you, if you do this, if you do this, then I'll give you a billion dollars. And he's a really crappy guy. Yeah. And I hate him. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Max. Um, well, I think he should be put on the list. Okay, I mean, I possible. Think, I think, he can know, be in the. He's got a recommendation, so we should review his application. He could be in the Great Lakes League of Horrible Celebrities. Yeah. So there's that. I, I'd like to think that one of the main members, if not the head, at least one of the main members, Ellen DeGeneres, just tripping children. Yeah. Just, oh, look, there's a little baby trip. And then when the baby looks at Ellen and cries, she just yells, Don't look at me in the eyes! 
So there's that. Ellen's in it. Uh, Bill Maher is there doing cocaine off of four prostitutes' asses, saying they think I'm a Democrat. Yeah. Uh, J.K. Rowling. I am a beloved British children's author. Also, kids kill fucking trans people. So she's she's in the league of horrible celebrities. Uh, Dave Chappelle, obvious Dave reasons. Chappelle. I'm also thinking uh, unpopular opinion. This is the unpopular opinions episode of The Pope on Film. But uh, uh, Johnny Depp's in there in the league of horrible celebrities. And he's just there, like, covered in cocaine. I did a bunch of drugs and beat my girlfriend. And then my girlfriend did a bunch of drugs and beat me. But only one of us had scissors for hands. <laughs> so I'm just saying they're both horrible people. Yeah, and he's, like, he's like popping up in the weirdest places. I don't know what. I just Damn. feel like I I just feel like there a lot of a lot of people online and on social media have assumed that since I am the founder and pope of the Church of Ed Wood, and because I've devoted most of my life to spreading Ed Wood's uh life story, and, and because I have literally canonized uh Johnny Depp as a saint as a literal religious saint, that uh, they can just get on Twitter and like, hey, Reverend, you following the Johnny Depp case? Man, Amber Heard is horrible. It should be killed, right? And it's like, okay, pump your brakes, kid. Yeah. What it seems to me is a, a bunch of people, even like uh, left-leaning liberals, were like, oh, yes, we must believe all of the women. I believe women. When women say that they have been attacked, we believe them. Oh, Jack Sparrow's being accused? Fuck that horrible person. Let's go and firebomb her house. And and uh, they're both horrible. This, this is my theory about the whole case. They're yeah. both horrible. That's, they are both that's kind of where equally I'm horrible. I, yeah. I, 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 I kind of... Like, Johnny... Depp already lost the UK trial suit. Very similar yeah. to yeah. this. I mean, the, the the evidence was the same, basically. He already, yeah. he lost that one. Amber Heard lost this one. Like right now, we needed we call who call next. Yeah. Right now, we got a tied game. Fucking, you both suck. Hell in a cell. We're going to figure this out. Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, special referee, Mick Foley. Boom. Yeah. WrestleMania. But now at head head. this point, Johnny Depp could possibly get past. I, I've been oh. looking at him side eye lately. Uh, but it's really hard to ever forget that somebody shit on a bed. Yeah. Yep. That's gonna yeah. be a hard one. But but then also yeah. men are always like, oh, I'm looking for a crazy chick. And yeah, guys always want a crazy chick chick until she shits in your bed. Yeah. Way to be sexist. Oh, you said you're into crazy chicks, so I set your house on fire, and now you're angry at me? So, that's fun. I, it, funny. I, I've got some news, okay? Okay. Okay. According to a new study by a doctor at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, and this is 100% true, and, uh, the, medicinal medication just kicked in so the rest of the podcast hold on to your hats it's gonna be exciting okay yay 
According to a new study by a, according to a new, oh yeah, 100%. According to a new study by a doctor at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, irritable bowel syndrome may be triggered by an individual's personal gravity intolerance. Really let that sink in. Because that's amazing. That is an amazing sentence to hear and to have to think about. So you mean to tell me that, no, I'm not allergic to peanuts. I'm not allergic to uh, kiwi. I'm allergic to gravity. That's got to suck. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, okay. So I just made hamburger helper for the family for dinner and I ate a bunch and now it's 15 minutes later and I'm shitting out my intestines. Uh, that's not the hamburger helper's fault. It's because I'm allergic to science. Yeah. But now, doesn't that kind of follow that uh, we can? Build an engine directly out of those. Ooh, you've because discovered. That would, if you built a whole engine out of that, wouldn't you be able to nullify gravity in cold space? Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just discovered dark matter. Yeah. So that's exciting. We but got that going for us. Uh, in, in other news, Vladimir Zelensky was named Time Magazine's 2022 Person of the Year, narrowly beating out the runner-up, Dane Cook. <laughs> He's 50, and he just married, like, a 25-year-old. Like, a 22-year-old, 23-year-old? It's like a crazy yeah. age difference, Dane but Cook, anyway, Dane. Dane Cook, yeah, not Vladimir Zelensky. But I, it's so bizarre to me that uh, Zel President Zelensky is like Times Person of the Year, it, it, and he's all over the world stage, and everyone knows him. And everyone, uh, you know, respects him and cares about him, uh, unless you're like a bad shit QAnon, whatever. But, uh, but the, I, I'm still blown away by him because he's a comedian. Yeah. I, 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 this still blows my mind. The fact that Times Person of the Year is basically Ukraine's John Stewart. Yeah. You know. Like back in the day, when I, John okay, Stewart. Okay, okay, but but I would feel very very comfortable if John Stewart was president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if they made Robin Williams president right after making Man of the House or whatever that Hail to the Chief or whatever that one where he's a comedian who runs for president. I don't remember what the name of that movie was, but it's crazy that, you know, he was a comedian that that was basically doing political comedy. And he had some TV show in Ukraine where he played the president and it was so popular they made him president. Yeah. Did you know Herschel Walker was a contestant on The Apprentice and that's why the Republicans went all out to try and get him elected? Is that why? I mean, I yes, he was he on, would... the, on The Apprentice. Yeah. Yeah, he was on The Apprentice, and that's why Trump pushed for him, and that's why everyone tried to get this uh, batshit, crazy head trauma specialist elected. Yes. That's fascinating to me. Fascinating. Okay, so the World Cup is happening right now. It's happening in Qatar. Huh? Yeah, you could probably sit in this box. Okay, uh, hold on, Bunny. I'm going to get inside of a box. I'm sorry, I thought I was done, but I'm not. No, nope, you're not done. Here, get the camera. I'm going to be in the box. You're having her get in the box? Come on, I can't even see. You can't even see it here. I'm getting you. See? 
Look at how big that box is. I'm so it is a pretty big box. I, it's a big ass box. My wife can fit in this box. It's kind of excessive that they sent my coffee pot in this box. It's pretty. It's a pretty big box. I'm. I do Sorry. feel kind of safe right now. You know. Yeah. Hey, I'm Mrs. 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 Malin. Mrs. Mrs. Malin. Mrs. Mrs. Malin. Yeah. No, you nailed it. Mrs. Malin. Yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Malin. It is. It's it's fun to say though. Uh so the World Cup is happening in Qatar and uh oh, what was I was gonna tell a story. Okay, so it, there's a lot of uh problems with having the World Cup in this uh small in the Middle East. Like number one, if you if you come from hundreds of thousands of miles away to see your team at the World Cup and you're wearing anything that has a rainbow on it, they won't let you into the arena to see it because rainbows are uh, synonymous with gay people and gays are like uh, not allowed. Well, everything, everything about this fucking World Cup is, is fuck beyond belief. Yeah, so uh Starting right before with flat out slave labor yeah to build the soccer field and shit. And all, you yeah. know, all the sporting all of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, so right before it was about to start the World Cup, uh Qatar said, uh, okay, so we're about to start. We're gonna be starting the World Cup. Also, no alcohol. Okay, so uh, let's do soccer. So Qatar won't allow any beer or alcohol at all in the World Cup, which is fine because if there's one thing that you don't uh, think of when you think of uh, socks, sports, soccer, it's alcohol. Yeah. You don't think of that. Going to a a soccer match in Ireland is a lot like going to a library. Totally. You know, everyone's there completely sober, going, good show. Oh, that's Chef? Excellent. Not hey, wrong. you, you are a fan of a rival team, but I will treat you kindly. Top of the hat. So, so uh, Budweiser was suddenly in a like a in between a rock and a hard place because they had shipped so much uh Budweiser to Qatar and now the only uh but beer that Budweiser can sell at the World Cup is Bud Zero a non-alcoholic Budweiser which makes me sick to even think about yeah the yeah. taste of I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, when are they finally going to make a non-alcoholic for Loco? You know, I've been waiting. Yeah. We're still waiting. Get the scientists working on this. So, Budweiser has announced that they will be sending all of the beer that they had they were already uh, they had already sent to Qatar for the World Cup. They will be sending it for free to the town of whatever team wins the World Cup. And I think that that's nice. Yeah. Not have alcohol. Yeah, there's going to be no alcohol at the World Cup. That's crazy. No alcohol and no rainbows. That's weird. Listen, that's an attack on me personally. That's an attack on you personally. I'm fucking mad. Exactly. So uh, that's been Jeff this week. That does feel nice. It yeah, feels that's cool. right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, feel, I like it. I like it a lot. Maxwell's right next to me in the box. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good, Bunny. Yeah. I'm really just happy with myself. You know, going into the holidays, I've lost fifty pounds this year, which is just freaking wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm back in therapy. My therapist is really nice. Uh, really good, really good. Uh, 
last week I had my first appointment with my therapist. She's really nice and really friendly. And it was a two hour therapy session and we were just talking and, and she seems really nice. And, and I'm happy that she's my, uh, my therapist. Uh, I started working again. Yeah. Which is really nice. I don't want to get into the details, but I'm, I'm doing deliveries for okay. a cool. big company and I'm working a couple of times a week and I like it. Uh, I'm taking confirmation classes so that I can get confirmed into the Episcopalian oh. religion. I really like Episcopalians. They're the smart ones that have logic and believe in science and dinosaurs. <laughs> and actually don't hate gay people. So it I, I'm I'm really I'm really liking it. I'm taking classes. I have a book and a notebook down here. And did you know that they made blow pops without the sticks? No. They're wonderful. They're mini blow pops, and they're just the middle, the the lollipop and the gum in the middle, but just without the stick. It's freaking wonderful. That is a huge coffee machine. Uh, excuse me, this is about the It's same a complicated size. coffee machine. This is this about is... the same size as the one we have. It's yeah. Not it's a ninja. Is it going to make any sounds when we make the coffee? Because if it if it does, it's a liar. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a nice looking coffee machine. She's excited about the coffee machine. Yeah. So we record this on Zoom, so we are going to be taking a short break, and when we come back, so that we can restart Zoom, and when we come back, it's going to be time for historic approximations or crap. That is fun. We can all say it together. Oh, that was great. Historical approximations? Yes. H and then AP for approximations. Yeah, you thought it was advanced placement. Liar. Yeah. Uh, this is a really good one. We're going to be talking about one of a, a kick-ass female Hollywood pioneer and how... She got screwed. It is a fascinating shab, and I can't wait to get to it. And then, of course, this week's movie is unfortunately How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Uh, Amber, my daughter, loves the Grinch so much that there is a possibility that while we are talking about this movie, someone might get upset or give me the look that she just gave me well it's 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 okay because you know he's usually right about things but like nobody's exactly nobody's nerfing <laughs> but she is tragically tragically wrong yes absolutely i 100 percent agree so we're going to take a break. Uh, stay tuned. We will be right back with some historic approximations. It's not the 100% story, but it's about 92 to 94% correct. That's why it's an approximation. So we will be right back with more of the Poop on Film after this. You're watching Biography on A&E. <laughs> Do 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 do